we'll jump right back into the action in our Temi Day. In the last chapter, this Color True Pearl Mermaid Norn right here made her way into the past seas towards the home of these Banshee Hydralisks. They're very vicious Grendels, and she's not in a very good situation. They were asleep just a little bit ago, but they are now awake. It's not looking too good for her. I'm still holding out some hope that she'll survive, but you can hear it's a lot of slapping. Swim away! She has a chance to run, but she's not moving, which is not good. They're distracted. She just has to move away. <laughs> but it's not looking good. I think she's just given up. This is awful. I was hoping that she was going to get out of this, but it's just a lot of slapping. I don't know if we want to stick around for this. In fact, I think we're going to run away if it doesn't... Because she's not moving. She's not putting up a fight. I think we've had it. We're heading over here for just a moment because if something happens to her, I don't think we really need to see it. Well, we actually have an indication that there's a pregnancy. Okay, the oddest thing just happened. See this? This is opalescent striata. She just became pregnant. <laughs> Out of all of the strange things to happen. And our Norn does have a chance to get out of here. I don't know if she will or not, though. Let's see, I just wanted to open this up real quickly. And we'll close that again. She's going in the wrong direction, though. There's an Elevine located over here. It's sort of hidden. That's her only escape from here. And I highly doubt she's going to be able to kind of coexist with these two Banshee Hydralisks. So far, she's actually okay. But we know that won't last for too long. In one of my test runs, I actually did have a couple of Banshee Hydralisks that sort of coexisted with Norns. They killed a few here and there, which wasn't very good. But they were able to kind of live with a large population. But I feel like two against two Grendels against one Norn is not a good situation. And they're awake again. And a slap. Not a good sign. She's moving, but not fast enough. And in here, again, I'm not a big fan of the violence and... <laughs> in creatures, so we'll run away from there and try to find something a little happier and hope for the best for her. Looks like we have another pregnancy. Periwinkle Solidae. And if I knew who that was, that would probably be good. <laughs> My guess is she's going to be in the deep abyss. Nope, she's literally right in front of me and it's another Grendel. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> I always miss these things. Well, that's good. We, we can definitely have some more Artemia Grendels. I think I mentioned before that they're actually very nice. They can coexist with everyone else. Although these two are kind of doing their own thing and kind of making their own home. But that works. Back in the deep abyss, there really isn't too much going on in this room. And I can't really complain because at this point, a lot of these Norns and Grendels are reaching older, they're getting older, <laughs> they're in old age now, so we don't have as many eggs to collect. And my rule that I'm trying to follow is that, oh look, she's actually surviving still. <laughs> but as, as I was saying, what, the rule that I'm following here is once a male and a female have passed away, all, their eggs will then be hatched for the next generation. She could make it. You're close to the Elevine. Could you actually survive this? It'd be great if she could make it back to the Deep Abyss. For now, she looks like she's okay. Don't swim that way. Stay over here. It's a little safer. She seems to be a little cold. Well, cold is better than being slapped. <laughs> Oh, but she's swimming back towards them. It's not a good sign. They seem semi-peaceful for the moment, but we know that won't last for too long. I guess we'll just have to leave off there. 
and come back and see what happens in the next chapter. But for now, everybody looks like they're doing okay. Well, except for, of course, as I try to leave on a happy note, we have somebody who's not taking care of themselves. <laughs> Typical norm behavior. But for now, we'll leave it here on this fairly good note. And make sure to check back soon. I'm sure we'll have more videos. <laughs>